my friends, my name is Nyx, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are doing something a little bit different. We are ranking all of the Zelda games in a tier list. I found this tier list here. It's nice and easy to read. Um, a lot of them are very- I have like the old pictures and you can't read the tiny tiny pixels. <laughs> um, it has all the words. You can read them, nice and easy. I've played a lot of Zelda games and I love them with my whole heart, so let's get into it. First one up here, we have Breath of the Wild. SS tier. I love it. It's great. I've replayed it. The DLC is great. It's a great game. It's a good game. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Triforce Heroes. Never played it. I can say that I've never played it. And I probably will, will never play it. And then we have Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. I actually have the 3DS cartridge like right in front of me here. I've never gotten rid of it for some reason. And I've never finished, but it was pretty good because I think I did get decently far. It was a really, really, really long time ago. So I'm going to give it a B because I never finished it yet. And I think I'm thinking about maybe going to replay it now that I'm a bit smarter and I have the cartridge right here. So like may as well. My 3DS still works. I'm going to give it a shot, but I'm going to give it a B for now. And next up we have Skyward Sword. S tier. I'm playing that right now, the remastered version on the Switch. It's awesome. I love it. I'm having a lot of fun with it, actually. The only thing that I don't like is that the controller controls are really complicated. Like, that's, like, kind of, like, the only thing that sucks. And the motion controls are really confusing. Like, I find they don't match up to what I want to do. But And then we have Spirit Tracks. That's an SS tier. I loved it. I loved riding around on the train. It was amazing. It was so fun. And it wasn't like too complicated of a game either. I remember we should play that. We should play it again. And then Phantom Hourglass, also up there. I played them both at the same time. Like I had both and I'd go back and forth between the two and it was great. A lot of nostalgia. That's also why they're all kind of up in the S, S tier. A lot of nostalgia for me. I love it. And then we have Twilight Princess. I would give it an SS actually. Hmm. I'm going between S and A because I've never finished it. Because that would definitely dock points because I've never finished it. So I don't know what the end is like. I'm going to give it an A for the sole reason that I've never finished it. Because I did I did like it. And I don't know why I've never finished it. But I had it for the Wii. Young me got rid of it for some reason. But I loved it. It had like the motion controls. Like it worked really good for the Wii. It was a lot of fun. But I never finished it. And I regret that every single day of my life. So I would like to go back and play it too. I'm gonna add that onto my list of games to play. <laughs> Figure out how to play Twilight Princess again. <laughs> and then there's Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I've never played it, to be honest. I looked up pictures of it and I don't know what it is, but it seems kind of fun. I don't know. <laughs> and then we have Four Swords Adventure. I've also never played that. I've never heard of it, but I did look that up too. And it's a co-op game. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. And then we have The Wind Waker. I've never played The Wind Waker. I'm sorry. But I would like to. I just never got around to it. And then I've never played Four Swords. I'm going to assume it's similar to that one. I'm just going to put it in that rank. Too similar to also rank. I don't know. And then we have... These two kind of go together. Because I had them... I bought like a... I have it on my 3DS. Like I have them there. Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. I'm going to put them in d because i've played them and they were kind of confusing and i couldn't really get into them i'm gonna put them in a d tier majora's mask i've never finished it i'm also gonna give it an a tier young me got really angry at the game um you know how like you only have like a certain kind of like time limit before like the whole world explodes or whatever i would always end up being too slow and i didn't understand what to do in the game and i get really angry at it and then i just kind of gave up on it but now that I'm older and I'm smarter, I would like to give it another shot. So I'm putting it in the A tier because it was good and I know it's good, but like I've never finished it and it's definitely a game I need to play again. And then we have Ocarina of Time, like the 1998 version. I'm gonna put that in too similar to also rank just because I've played Ocarina of Time 3D, wherever it is. And that is an SS tier. I loved it. It was like my first Zelda game that got me into all the Zelda games. Like, well, not really my first Zelda game, but it was like the first that got me in there. Oh, I actually see that there's Majora's Mask 3D. I'm going to put that in there and then put this Majora's Mask down in too similar to also rank just because the 3D version is the one I've played and it confused me. So I'm just going to give it another shot someday. Link's Awakening. I don't think I've ever played that. So I'm going to throw that in there. A Link to the Past? I don't think I've ever played that either, to be honest. The Adventure of Link? I don't know what that is. 
This one? A Legend of Zelda? I don't know what that is. Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. I've never played that, but I don't think I'd like it. I don't like I don't like the graphics like that. It's weird. Twilight Princess. Um, too similar to also rank because I just put that one up there. The Wind Waker. I've never played it. I should. I really should, but I've never gotten around to it. Four Swords. Never played it. Ocarina of Time Master Quest. I've never played it. A Link to the Past and Four Swords. I've never played it. To be honest, I didn't know half of these existed, to be honest. Link's Awakening. Didn't really play it. Ancient Stone Tablets. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> this one. I don't know. Hyrule Warriors. Um, a D. I didn't like it. And I'm just gonna put these ones in the two similar to also rank just because they're all Hyrule Warriors. But I had it for the Switch and I can say I've never really played it. If you look at my Switch, I have probably like 20 minutes of game time and I just couldn't really get into it. And next up is Cadence of Hyrule. I didn't even know this existed, but I was actually talking to someone at work that had played it, and I guess it's actually, like, pretty good. Like, she loved it. Because from what I was told, it's kind of like a rhythm game, almost. Like, it's got, like, a vibe of, like, a rhythm game. And so I really wanted to check it out, but it would be really cool. So I'm gonna put that in the unplayed, because I'd never played it, but I heard good things about it. And I'm putting that in that category. Link's Crossbow Training, S tier. I loved it as a young one. I had it for- it was for the Wii. It came with the Wii. We had the little crossbow thing. I loved it. I played it a lot and I was pretty good at it just to toot my own horn. I It has a lot of nostalgia to me. I loved it. It was so much fun. I, I had a lot of fun with it. It was good. And Game Watch, I don't know. And Zelda, Game & Watch, I don't know. <laughs> so this is my Zelda tier list. A lot of stuff I never played yet. But um, Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Is there any games you would put in a different category? Let me know. Out of the games I have not played, let me know which ones are the good ones. And maybe I'll play them someday. So yeah, soak it in. <laughs> um, I think it's a pretty good tier list. It's, just, it's just not bad. It's not bad. So yeah, that's all from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to converse with you in the comments and see how, where our opinions differ. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And it would be much appreciated if you liked, commented, and or subscribed to the channel. I would love you forever, and I'll see you all in the next one.